At last you've come. Friends, the door of fate shall open. What? The chaos of the city's increasing. Get back. We have no time. Let's hurry, Gary. No turning back now. Only man himself can control its fate. You're nothing. James Taylor is a special agent of the government agency known as the AMS. As an AMS agent, his conduct is cool and logical. He never relies on intuition and guesswork. James handles whatever he faces with the utmost of calmness and clarity. Only man himself can control its fate. You're nothing. Devoid of excessive emotion like his fellow agent G, James has an almost computer-like mind. Despite this, he seems to be an ambitious man with high expectations of himself and his partners. Kate, this is it. Give it all you got! He always aims to become a top agent in the AMS as Rogan. Accordingly, he is often dispatched to scenes of immense difficulty and other confusion, such as the Goldman incident that took place on February 26, 2000, where James and his partner Gary Stewart were assigned to investigate the creature-infested Canal City in Europe. After his encounter with Goldman, who proceeded to tell the agents that a successor will come before committing suicide, James responded that they will keep on fighting as long as they have the will to live. Three years later, James went on to investigate the Goldman incident further with a new partner, Kate Green, as he didn't believe that the incident didn't end as he thought. As they were looking into the information in the AMS branch office, an earthquake occurred and leaving them trapped in the building. As the agents waited for backup to arrive, they spotted creatures infesting the area. The agents then made their escape and fought their way through the destroyed city. Oh my god. No oh, scan. Oh my no. Along the way, James learned that Goldman had set a nuclear missile launch and planned to revert humankind to its natural state in order to prevent them from harming the planet any further with Pandora's box. James fought valiantly against the hordes of creatures, but was fatally injured by Goldman's creation, the Star, to test the agent's strength in battle. Don't worry about me. It's an old wound. <sighs> in order to save the world from extinction, he sacrificed himself by setting his PDA to self-destruct mode, not before telling Kate to not give up hope. This will stop it. Kate, don't give up hope. James! He is survived by his younger brother, Ryan Taylor, who joined the AMS three years later to uncover the investigation of Scarecrow Manor. James' legacy continues to live through the hearts of his fellow agents by letting them know that they have a strong will to live and not to give up on hope. Did you see it before it was struck by lightning? What are you talking about? I'm tired of people close to me becoming a victim. What would James say? No, no sacrifice, sacrifice anymore. It's too late for regrets. Something like that. Where'd everyone go? Let's just hope they all manage to evacuate. Hope? So you really think there's still hope? Yeah. There's no turning back now. Looks like we can get out here. While the sequel to the original House of the Dead was in development as a launch title for the Sega Naomi arcade hardware to improve visuals, the staff at AM1 envisioned the sequel to be similar to the X-Files and wanted to focus on a new story that takes place two years after the events of the original. Two new protagonists were created as playable characters 
who belong to the same government agency, AMS, as the previous heroes, Rogan and G, from the original game. James was created as an AMS agent with a cool personality in contrast to Gary, who was portrayed with a passionate personality. Now, let's head on over to some interesting facts about James Taylor from the House of the Dead series. With the popularity of the House of the Dead 2 after its release in the arcades in the Sega Dreamcast, James Taylor has appeared in the sequel's numerous spin-offs such as The Typing of the Dead, Sporting a Dreamcast Backpack, along with a keyboard, The Pinball of the Dead, English of the Dead, and Loving Deads, The House of the Dead EX with Gary Stewart and Kate Green as MC for the Detective Zombie Co. minigame. He is also often known by the House of the Dead fan community for his infamous voice lines and the games he has appeared in. We're meeting G over there. How could anyone do this? My God. There was nothing we could do. What the hell's going on in this city? Looks like we've ended up in the subway system. That's the station up ahead. Temper this, buddy! <laughs> in my opinion, I think James Taylor plays a major key role in the lore of the House of the Dead and is known in the community for his infamous voice in the House of the Dead 2. He is an agent who continues to fight evil and encourage his fellow agents to push themselves to not give up hope on the bright future ahead, even after death. Plus, I love the one-liners he delivers after a boss is defeated, giving him that cheesy yet badass horror movie protagonist vibe. I kinda like being an action hero. Oh. With the House of the Dead 2 remake on the way, I'm excited to see James return in the series to kick some Goldman ass. Is that all you have to say, Goldman? I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you would like to know more about Sega Library of Characters and the development of their franchises, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more Sega lore videos. You can also support me through Streamlabs as it will help the channel improve with more upcoming videos. Until then, see you next time. Thank you.